Well, guys, as the saying goes, sometimes you either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. And although Victor was never really going to be a hero, I guess, in our eyes, at least most likely not, he has truly become a full-blown villain. And this is crazy. So welcome back to the Z-Man Show. Mike here. We're diving into Season 7, Episode 1, uh, Fear the Walking Dead. And it's called The Beacon. Man, I, I gotta tell you guys, I um I knew Victor, you know, we know he's coarse, we know he is a true survivor, he'll screw over anybody to get what he needs, you know, to be, to come out on top. And although you think he's, some, at points in time that he would learn his lesson, he definitely has not. And no doubt, as we saw at the end of Season 6, when the nuclear bomb went off, and he, I guess, thought himself a chosen one or so forth, as he sees himself unscathed by the nuclear blast, by all the different warheads going off, He's just like, you know, this was my purpose. I was meant to, you know, start anew. And now that he's at this center where it looks like there's um, there's food, there's electricity, there's all this precious artwork and artifacts and this new cutlass saber that he's using as he's running around. I don't know who he thinks he is, if he thinks he's George Washington or, or what the hell. But we get a chance to see tonight, and I'm not going to go through the whole deal because I know you guys already watched it. But let's talk about the big highlight. I mean, look what happened to Will. So Will is this new character we come into uh, come across. It looks like he's been surviving out there for about 50 days in this nuclear holocaust or whatever. And uh, apparently, we find out that he had been with Alicia. Alicia and Teddy's little cult following crew, at least for a period of time. But at one point, he was basically kicked out. Now, we don't really understand why. It may have been a lover's quarrel. We find out that he loved her. Um, maybe she did love him. We're not quite sure. But he comes across Victor and... At first, it seems like, you know, maybe he's trying to find refuge, right? Maybe trying to stay with Victor and have safety and so forth. But it ends up being that he's really just testing Victor before he could tell Victor actually where Alicia was in that old hotel, which is completely decimated now by the blast. And remember that they were locked in down below. Now, there's some questions I had during this episode, and there was a lot of jumping around, and it was causing a little bit of confusion. But what I wanted to know is Teddy locked Alicia down there in that bunker, right? And apparently a senator was down there with some other aides, and so and, and Will was down there too. He was one of the PR aides to the senator and so forth. And I guess they were trying to survive down there. Well, when Teddy's scouts found the place finally, they killed everybody down there, including the senator. Luckily, uh, Will was up in cleaning ductwork or something, and he managed to hide out basically until, I guess, Teddy's crew arrived, and then he was locked in there with everybody else. But how did they get out? Because Alicia couldn't get out when Teddy first locked him in there, uh, locked her in there. I mean, she was all yelling and screaming and so forth. So, like, my big question is, how did they get out of there to begin with? Um, and furthermore, we saw later in the episode when Will and Victor were at that lighthouse, and all those walkers that were making their way towards him, which, by the way, was a pretty cool scene with the, the heavy, heavy fog and all kinds of craziness. And, um, and he says that, oh, I recognize those people. It's like... <laughs> It, there's some contradictions going on. He says, "I could see, you know, I could see those people are the ones from the uh, the bunker complex." But then there was a comment that says, "You can't see two feet in front of you outside." It's like, well, which one is it, guys? Can you see two feet in front, or can you actually make out who's in, you know, who's there? So there's no way he could have been able to tell who those walkers were. But apparently, they were from the complex. And as Victor and him get there later uh, together, they find that nobody's there. There was over 120 people surviving down there. Nobody's there. And moreover, Alicia, all that's there was a note to Will that says Padre, odd. And also, uh, there's a drawing on the wall, um, spray painted and so forth. And it looks like Alicia did it because we know she's the well-renowned uh, artist now from her earlier days. I think it was it late season five, maybe, yeah, I think it was around season five, maybe early, early season six. So, you know, the questions that raised here was, well, of course, where's Alicia? How did these people get out? I mean, how did they all get out of the compound? I thought they were locked in there. Uh, furthermore, they had over 10 years of supplies they could have been down there. So what went wrong? How did all these people turn? Did Alicia do it? Was it some kind of scheme where the, all the followers too cuckoo crazy for her? And, you know, she said, nah, I'm out of here. And somehow killed them all? It doesn't seem like Alicia's style. Unless she was pushed. You know, maybe, maybe then. But... If she was leading them, it's just there's a lot of questions here. So hopefully we can get those answered. But moreover, Victor. Okay, so we get Victor. He's he's doing his over the top, and I can't do it right now. Of course, on the spot, I can't do it. But you know Victor's talk. I mean, it's already ridiculously over the top, anyways. But he even kicked it up another notch, as you know, Colonel or Colonel, sorry, Colonel uh, Victor Strand of the tower or whatever, and he's got his saber running around and so forth, and he's acting like he's king of the freaking castle. And even that other dude that was with him that were surviving uh, when the blast went off, I mean, clearly he jumped on board real quick. I mean, at first he seemed like very 
concerned at Victor and how he'd lied to him and so forth. But now he seems to be his lackey, and he's just like, yeah, whatever Victor says, this is what goes. It's like, <laughs> okay, yeah, clearly, you know, you're not a strong one. You just want to jump on board to save your life, I guess. So... You know, Victor's got this tower, he has his own guards, his crew. They got people in this place learning yoga and just doing their, just chilling, doing their thing. And Victor's saying that he only wants people coming in that are of worth. And I was like, well, what exactly does that mean? Because other than your guards, I don't really see anybody else doing much. I did see some gardening and so forth, so maybe that was needed. I don't know. But Victor, he's he's pulling his over-the-top crap like he always does. And, and any, anyways, you know, working with Will throughout tonight... And Will even had the chance to save his life. So tell me, you got to tell me before you jump off here. When Will was up there on the tower after they got back, so they ended up, they ended up going back to the uh, the lighthouse and they got that beacon light, which my wife says she calls BS on the mail, being able to lift them out. I call BS on them being able to just dismantle it and get it out without breaking it. But I'm sure they could have lifted it out more than likely. My wife calls BS on it. There's that. But they get back and they get to the tower or Victor and his people are, and they end up re-jerry-rigging it up or whatever so that they can cast this light, and, you know, going around. And Will's thinking that, that Victor wants Alicia to find it and come there. And then all of a sudden, he pulls like an immediate 180 just like that. And he's just like, yeah, well, first he's like, yeah, I loved her too, and I wanted to tell her and so forth, which my wife was calling earlier. I never really thought Victor had that kind of love, but either way. And then suddenly he just kind of snaps. He's like, you know, no. Uh, leadership can only be by one person. I mean, he's tall, talking the total dictatorship. He's pulling the 180. It doesn't sound like he wants Alicia there at all. And Will obviously is picking up on this immediately. And he's trying to he's trying to reassure Strand that no, there is another way. But there was at one point when he was looking over the ledge, and then he kind of turned around. I'm like, why do I feel like Victor's about to push him? Up? I just had this feeling, right? Tell me, if some of you had that feeling, or if you didn't, if you're just like, no, it caught you off guard. But then, you know, then he didn't, and Victor walked off to the side, and I'm thinking, okay, I guess Will's going to make it past this, but Will was being all reassuring and so forth, and then Victor just turns around, you know, and he just pushes, 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 and just throws his ass off of the top of that building. How many stories? I don't know, but enough to completely decimate your body, and we got to see a gnarly, zombified Will at the very end of the episode. What a, that poor guy. I mean, he wanted to find Alicia. He's never going to get to do that, that's for sure. He's not in human form. Or the living form, for that matter. I just, I was just, I mean, I expected it, but I didn't think Victor would have the balls to actually do it. Um, so, I guess here we are. I guess, and clearly, you can see over here, um, you have Victor and Morgan just at odds, totally with the yelling at each other and so forth. So it's gonna go down. I mean, in season seven. I, I assume one of these two are going to make it out alive and the other one is not. I mean, Victor's past redemption at this point. I mean, is there any turning back from this? I really don't think so. And really, do any of us want to see that? I mean, if you're going to go villain, then you need to go full villain and just get after it. But, uh, but yeah, this episode was just a lot. I was loving the setting. Um, what did you guys think? I mean, this is the post-apocalyptic true nuclear fallout you know so not only do you have zombies but you have nuclear which mind you i think a lot of people have overlooked this over time and i was talking to a few buddies about it how you know nuclear plants and so forth there's no burden to man there's no one to man them now true they hit on that in fear uh, uh what is it a season and a half ago when we were finding grace and so forth a season ago excuse me so how would you know if you were traveling through an area let's say you're trying to get from the east coast to the west coast and you're traveling through an area and what if one of the freaking nuclear plants had gone off i mean you'd be getting radiation poison and it'd be it's just crazy just thinking about these different scenarios. But, um, yeah, here we are in Season 7. So we'll see how this all plays out, guys. Uh, welcome. I hope you enjoyed the, this talk over it and hope you didn't miss too much along the way. But, yeah, we need to understand where's Alicia, what does this Padre have to do with anything, and what is it that Will maybe knew that he didn't share with Victor. And, you know, I'm surprised Victor didn't try to get more out of him, but I guess he just believed Will that he just didn't know. Uh, and obviously he killed Will because at that point, if Will would have gotten away and found Alicia, he would have let her know where Strand was. And But at what, you know, I'm kind of wondering to what end? I mean, is Alicia actually going to try and go kill him for some reason? I doubt it. Um, and Victor, obviously he wants to kill all of his past. What a great time this would be, by the way, for Madison to come back. I mean... Madison. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, I just want to, I just wanted to come back just so I can hear him talk and say her name more often. He goes, Madison. 
uh, uh, you know, just all his, his talk. It's just awesome. Um, anyways, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Let me know what you thought overall. I think it was a decent, interesting start. I mean, are we replaying on some old concepts? Absolutely. But I think there's a lot more to be had here, and I want to really see the landscape, a little bit more at least, of this uh, nuclear fallout. And, and how Morgan, it looks like the next episode, Morgan and Grace are going to be in some trouble. We also have we have this other crew out there too, the scalpers or scavengers or something like that, right? They're going through and they're picking the uh, things off of the dead. They're leaving marks on them and so forth. So need to know some more about them too. And are they going to pose a major threat to Victor and his people? Um, are they going to be kind of, uh, may, is it Alicia? You know, maybe it's it's her crew. Or maybe it's, you know, a certain small following that she has now. Now that would be an interesting twist. And, you know, now that I say that, I wasn't thinking about it earlier. I think it's very possible, um, but I, we'll, we'll have to see. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to give this episode probably a solid seven for the start. I don't think it was like over the top amazing, but it was fun and it was entertaining. So make sure to come out to my channel and check out my other content, my indie series, Dead Nightmares out there. I will be filming next month, finally, after almost like a year and a half hiatus, which is awful, but I'm finally getting back to it. And also come back out. I have uh, trivia videos. I'm going to actually try and get one off of the Halloween series, if not the first two uh, with Michael Myers. And we got the new movie, Halloween Kills. I'm going to try and see that over the next week and a half or so. And hopefully come back out here and talk to you guys. I'm sure there will be plenty of reviews out there. But if you want to come out and get my take, just bear with me a couple weeks and I will have a review out there for you. So take care and I will see everybody at the next review. See you guys.